What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks bringing you some more Go Battle League battles in the Great League. This footage is a little bit older, like definitely a couple days ago. I was still using um, Swampert lead and then Defense Deoxys safe swap with Skarmory in the back. A team that I think is very strong and really enjoy using. Swampert in the lead scenario is very safe in the current meta. And uh, in today's video, I kind of want to talk about um, Go Battle League, you know, some some games you just get some really solid leads and you're just going to win purely based on team comp, but then you could be running the same team and obviously you're going to run into some opposing team comps that just totally hard counter your particular team. Because Go Battle League is a blind format, there is really no way of getting around this fact. Sometimes you're going to win purely based on team comp. Sometimes you're going to lose purely based on team comp. It's really these games kind of in this middle grayish area. Um, those are the ones where you really want to try to improve your battling, improve your gameplay, and see if you can learn from any mistakes that you make. So in this video, um, th these were back-to-back -back sets taken from one of my Twitch live streams. And the first set, I go 5-0. Um, all five leads that I encounter are somewhat, they're either neutral or they're somewhat positive and, and playable. Um, and then the next set, I, the, I run into some very bad leads. Um, and as you will see, when you run into a, a horrible lead scenario, um, always try to find a possible win condition. Again, there are gonna be some team comps where there's there's just no win condition. For example, with this particular team right here, anytime I run into a, tr a Razorleaf Tropius, Sableye, Galarian Stunfisk team, it's an instant loss. There's almost nothing I can do. Uh, if it's an Air Slash Tropius in the lead, it is a little bit more playable because the fast move damage isn't as oppressive on Swampert, and so I can have some possible farm down potential there. But um, every team is going to have its weakness. I think the funniest comments that I get on some of these YouTube videos, and whenever I post a, a new video with a new team, it's like, oh, this team is crazy weak to this Pokemon. This team is crazy weak to this Pokemon. Yep, that's, that's how it goes. Some teams are going to have, uh, well, every team is going to have a weakness. And the reason why a team comp like this, essentially kind of an ABB format, meaning that both of uh, both Defense Deoxys and Skarmory share a common weakness of Galarian Stunfisk, which is a pretty common pick in um, the Go Battle League Great League meta right now. It, um, this team comp is kind of reliant on you being aggressive with your safe swap defense Deoxys and baiting out that stun fisk so the Skarmory in the back is free to roam. And in a blind format like this in Go Battle League, this team comp of ABB is very common and very powerful. It's why the Skarm double grass, the Caleb Peng lineup works so well. Caleb Peng loves his double grass lineups. He also has the uh, Alolan Marowak and then Shiftry and um, Ferrothorn lineup as well. So these ABB lineups, again, super, super strong. Um, but whenever you run into a team that, you know, kind of essentially hard counters yours, try to play it out as best as you can. Um, if, if you're recognizing that they the opponent just has the perfect counters to your team, you know, there's really nothing you can do. And so not really worth getting too upset about that, but just as often, um, hopefully you experience just as often as you have a neutral or positive lead, um, you also have negative leads. And so if you're finding that you're essentially just um, running into a lot of horrible leads, maybe your lead Pokemon is not the best pick for the meta. I think some of the top lead Pokemon in the Great League meta right now um, are like Swampert is very strong. I see a lot of Obama Snow. The reason Swampert is so strong is because you're also going to see opposing um, Stunfisk or Galvantula or Azumarill, and because Swampert is running Sludge Wave, it has play against that. Um, Skarmory lead is pretty neutral. Um, Azumarill lead is probably the safest possible lead that you can run. Azumarill, in my opinion, is still the best Pokemon in Great League. I know a lot of people out there 
really get annoyed when I post uh, teams that include Azumarill, but hey, it's the best Pokemon in Great League in my opinion. So it is very flexible and it always fulfills a particular role within a team. You can pick any two Pokemon and put an Azumarill in there and most of the time it's gonna offer you better like neutral coverage, so. But, um, so with all that being said, we can kind of take a look at some of these battles and you'll see um, in this first, uh, these first five battles here, fairly favorable or playable matchups for me. And then the second set, very, very tough matchups. Um, and so trying to wiggle my way around, get a shield advantage, get an energy advantage at, at any way that I can there to try to play that out. I think this particular team I ran into is actually a triple fairy team, which is very wild. Shadow Mawile lead, and then double charmers in the back is a very, very wild team comp for sure, but I'm able to uh, take the victory there. Good game. Swampert into Galvantula. This is a favorable lead for Swampert, but if the Galvantula wants to commit two shields here, the lunge damage is really gonna add up. But I'm gonna stay in here, and then they switch into Azumarill. It is important to remember that the Galvantula has loaded energy. So I'm going to throw a Sludge Wave here. It lands on the Azumarill, really good for me. Typically, any time the Sludge Wave successfully lands on an Azumarill, that's when I make my swap, just to guarantee that the Azumarill is low enough health that I have some farm down potential against it. So here I have to throw Sky Attack because I really don't want to get hit by an Ice Beam from the Azumarill. I know I'm going to get farmed by the Galvantula, but I'm really hoping that I can get to a Sky Attack here. And I'm going to be able to get there. So I'm assuming that my opponent is going to double shield and farm down. I'm up two shields to zero. Very, very favorable position for me. I'm going to bring out Swampert again. Still very... Oh, I'm going to bring out Deoxys here to actually absorb some of this energy. Very interesting. I've already seen Galvantula, I've already seen Azumarill, and so in my head, I'm anticipating a Stunfisk in the back, which is why I brought out the Defense Deoxys to absorb all that damage. I was completely wrong. It was actually a Shadow Machamp in the back, but uh, this is fine as well. I'm gonna be able to get to these two Hydro Cannons to take out the Machamp. And then hopefully get to another Hydro Cannon to take out this Galvantula. Able to do it. And we're going to take the victory here. Very good game. Very good game there. So Swampert into Toxicroak. This is a somewhat playable matchup, but the counter damage adds up very quickly. And typically what I've noticed, anytime there's a Toxicroak lead, there's typically a Stunfisk in the back as well because you need some anti-flyer coverage if you're gonna lead Toxicroak. So I'm most likely am not gonna stay in this matchup. So I switch into my Deoxys. I'm just going to absorb whatever damage is gonna come this way. Probably a Sludge Bomb. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but I'm anticipating that there's a Stunfisk. Um, and then they don't switch into one. So at this point, this kind of gives me assurance that there is not a Stunfisk in the back. So hopefully my uh, Skarmory is going to have a lot of play against their team. And they bring out Hypno. It's most likely going to Confusion me down. I really want to get to this Rock Slide, but my opponent is counting very well. If I would have shielded this up, they would have shielded and farmed me down. So it's not worth committing the shield there. At this point, I'm gonna bring out the Skarmory. I know that they already have the Toxicroak, which Skarmory has um, a lot of play against. Thunder Punch does not feel good, but I'm able to farm down the Hypno. What is gonna come out? It's the Toxicroak again, which is very interesting. This is just gonna be a Mud Bomb, so no need to shield this. I'm wondering if there is a Grass in the back, and if that's the case, I farmed up a bunch of Skarmory. It's an Azumarill in the back. I'm not sure why they didn't bring out the Azumarill in the first place against the Skarmory, but I'm just going straight for the Brave Bird. Unfortunately, it gets shielded, but I burned the last shield. Now I'm going to be able to get to the Sludge Wave. This is not going to be enough to KO the Azumarill. Um, but at this point, I can just land another Sludge Wave. So commit the shield and get to a second Sludge Wave. And then I think this was the fifth battle. And so these next couple of battles, you're going to see um, some pretty tough team comps for me to deal with. 
So let's see what mistakes I make in here or what I could have done better to pull out some wins here. This is this is not a great lead, but I'm gonna store a hydro cannon before getting out of here because typically when I swap in my defense Deoxys, if there is a stun fisk in the back, it's most likely to come out right there. Um, the problem is they mirror with their own Deoxys here and I absorbed all that damage from the Altaria. The Altaria did dump its energy, which is good for me. And at this point, I'm not sure how valuable winning switch advantage is. Um, but in hindsight, recognizing that um, they threw energy with their Altaria before swapping out, they probably didn't have a hard counter to my Deoxys. So it would have been worthwhile to commit a shield there or commit a shield in this secondary matchup to try to regain switch advantage to ensure that my Skarmory can get aligned with this Altaria because Swampert is just having no play here. And then I stay in there way too long. I was trying to catch a sky attack on Skarmory, but that, that's just a bad play right there. It was a Zoomerill in the back. So obviously um, this still would have been a very uphill battle. And this is a very meta team that I'm going up against the Altaria Defense Deoxys Azumarill. Very strong team, three very strong Pokemon, very tough to deal with. But at least if my Swampert was against the Azumarill, there would have been more play instead of having my Swampert stuck against the Altaria. So I'm in a very tough spot here. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna be able to get this Sky Attack off, but I'm gonna get bubbled down. And there's really nothing, um, nothing that my poor Swampert can do here. Sludge Wave only does like 45% damage. Yeah, so they're gonna be able to take me out. We even encounter a little bit of lag at the end there, but it would not have made a difference. Good game there. I should have fought for switch advantage a little bit harder. This is absolutely terrible. Worst possible lead. I get out of there. Use Deoxys as a safe swap. Now they are being very smart here. I know there's a Bastiodon in the back. Anytime you see a Shadow Victory Bell, it's almost always paired with Bastiodon. And what my opponent did was very smart. They stayed in with the Victory Bell to chip away at my Deoxys to ensure that they would win out this secondary matchup to make sure that their Victory Bell stays aligned with my Swampert. So very smart play by my opponent. Put me in a tough position here where essentially there was nothing I could do. I think I commit both shields here just to have any sort of attempt to win back switch, but because my Deoxys soaked up all that Razor Leaf damage, there's almost no hope for me. They're, they're throwing Thunderbolt, so I'm assuming that they're running Thunderbolt Psycho Boost, and as you can see here, they're going to double shield. I could have possibly, okay, so I could have possibly switched into Swampert right then after they uh, landed that double shield, gotten an energy advantage, and hoped to uh, land a Sludge Wave on the Victory Bell, but as you can see, I was not able to gain alignment, and so it was just hard counter city there, not going to be able to win that out. Good game. Swampert into Altaria, really bad again. This time I do not store the Hydro Cannon. I just switch in right away. I'm noticing, again, my opponent is staying in here. I should shield this. The fact that they have not switched out um, is indicating to me that they do not have a hard counter to Deoxys and they might have um, another counter to Swampert in the back. They even shielded that. So now I'm thinking to myself, oh man, this is not great because I'm gonna get Dragon Breath down. I lose switch, doesn't even matter that I have a shield advantage because most likely they're going to have a hard counter to my Swampert in the back. I unfortunately have to bring out Skarmory here and I'm going to try to farm this thing down but you're going to see, we all know how busted Dragon Breath is as a fast move. It's literally hitting for resisted damage while I'm hitting for neutral damage and I'm just getting chunked away. Skarmory's just getting chunked away. I have two shields, it's an Azumarill in the back. And if I remember correctly, they have a very, very hard counter to Swampert in the back. Yeah, it's a Ferrothorn. If this was any other grass type, I would have more play here because Sludge Wave would be able to hit for super effective. But because Ferrothorn with its steel typing actually still resists Sludge Wave, both Hydro Cannon and Sludge Wave hit for neutral on Ferrothorn. This is just terrible. Very bad for me. My Skarmory still has a lot of uh, loaded energy. And Hydro Cannon is the way to go here because it's more energy efficient. Both moves hit for neutral. I have to let this go. 
and then farm down with my Skarmory, but I'm so low. Out comes the Azumarill, and they are not in Sky Attack range. I have to build up back-to-back -back Sky Attacks, but they just got a bubble through while I was throwing this, and as you can see, I was not able to get to back-to-back. -to -back. Very good game there. Tough team come for me to deal with. In hindsight, again, should have shielded the defense Deoxys, tried to fight for switch advantage a little bit more. When your opponent stays in there after you bring out your secondary Pokemon, it means that they don't have a hard response to that Pokemon. So Swampert into Obstagoon is a playable scenario, but my opponent gets the boost on Obstagoon, and so there's no way in heck that I can stay in there. Yes, this foul play is going to do, or this nice slash is going to do a lot of damage, but I just stay in there. They bring out Azumarill. I made the aggressive swap there because I needed to clear the buff on the Obstagoon. That thing was going to get out of control if I just stayed in there. It was going to farm down my Swampert, and then my Swampert has no value to me anymore. I shield up this Ice Beam, which is questionable. I really want to get to this Thunderbolt. We're even in shields right now, um, but if my opponent shields this... Okay, they actually let it go. The counters from Deoxys are gonna hit Obstagoon for double super effective. Out comes the Tropius, and this is so beautiful because I'm gonna get my Skarmory aligned with this and the Obstagoon has cleared the debuff. I'm watching for the swap. They're throwing energy here. I know they're gonna switch an Obstagoon at any point in time here. There it is. And I actually throw a Sky Attack here first to try to burn the last shield. And then I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna go for the combo play, land this Hydro Cannon. I think it's barely not enough to take it out. Yeah, barely survives. And then I can just let this go. Come in with Skarmory, Brave Bird the Tropius, and this will be a pretty clean victory here. Honestly, the play that uh, allowed me to win this was regaining a switch advantage on the secondary matchup. The fact that my Deoxys was able to take out the Azumarill allowed my Skarmory to be aligned uh, with the Tropius, and that uh, that was just able to align the hard counters there. So much of blind battles and Go Battle League in general is just all about alignment. That secondary matchup is, is most of the time the most crucial. So this is a playable lead here. So it takes four confusions for the Hypno to get to their first charge move, assuming that they're running some sort of a punch. But this keeps happening. They get a confusion while they simultaneously throw a Shadow Ball, which requires five confusions, which is absolutely horrible. So I think I need to start playing this a little bit differently and actually build up past um, the four confusions. So I'm able to take out the Hypno. They have two shields. A Shadow Machamp came out. I'm gonna let it go down. Now both the Oxus and Skarmory have play against this, but Deoxys is going to resist the counter is where Skarmory is going to be taking neutral damage. They go for Cross Chop. In the back is Stunfisk. This is really tough for me. I have to stay in with Deoxys and chip this down as much as possible. I know that Machamp has some residual energy. I'm hoping this is an Earthquake. It is, and that's really great for me because I need this counter damage to add up as much as possible. I store all of that energy on my Defense Deoxys for late game to threaten the Machamp. And then Skarmory, I just need to land um, a Sky Attack on this, and then I can counter it down, and I should be able to cleanly take this. They still have a shield, and I'm assuming that they save it for Machamp. <clears throat> Never mind, they use it here. I still survive a rock slide. I'm anticipating the Machamp to come in here pretty soon. Uh, it does, but I have a Sky Attack store, so I'm gonna be able to take it out and win this game. Thank you all so much for watching. Sometimes you have good leads, sometimes you have bad leads. So we just gotta play through it and try to learn from our mistakes. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the content. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.